guys. This is uh, it's RK 905, and uh, this is the third time we're trying this. Uh, my friend next to me here apparently cannot work cameras for the life of him. Sorry, okay. And uh, we are going on a, a couple mile long hike today. It's going to be something new for us. We're going to do some more hiking and camping videos hopefully this year. And you can see we're on the side of the foothills right now. We're going to do it's a six mile long loop. We might not do the whole thing, but we figured we'd take you along with us. And you can introduce yourself. What's up guys, I'm Panzer IV Commander and I'm going to be joining the Ing Guitar in on our first ever video. Oh, don't know how this is going to go. Grab to the best, gentlemen. <laughs> How's it going? Not bad. Oop, watch out for the hole there. Yeah, right over the hill, there's a police shooting range next to the dirt bike track. Oh, about to say, Ryan, what did you get us into? <laughs> you didn't bring your body armor? Hey, weapon stick priority first. These guns? Hey, you know what I love them. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a second. Okay, today I'm trying out for the first time some uh, new pants and boots on a hike. Got my um, 511, or no, I'm sorry, Blackhawk. Um, I think it's called the TNT pants. Got them for $29.99, I believe, on uh, LA Police Gear. And then the other thing I'm trying out today is my uh, Blackhawk boots, or 511 boots. They're the ATAC Storm. They're waterproof. Not sure how they're going to fare on hiking, but we'll find out. Stay tuned. How are you faring? Not bad. Okay, just to give you an idea of where we are right now. We are in the foothills. And this is the trail. It's a pretty moderate trail. The beginning is a little steep. But other than that, it's pretty simple. And if you have not been to Colorado before, this is pretty much what it looks like all the way up until the mountains. Yeah, it's very nice here. But it's going to be this type of vegetation and rocky areas all through the front range and the foothills. When you get out to the plains, it's just going to be grassland. But I like this type of style. And wait till we get to the other side. We'll be near Red Rocks, and it's going to have uh, bright red clay. Only in Colorado. Sorry if my friend's breathing hard. We have not hiked in a long time. What I really want to do is um, see if our parents will let us find a shooting range somewhere, not shooting range, but a uh, national forest and do some running and shooting. Yeah. That would be a lot of fun. That's great for just shooting and shooting. Think about there's not a lot of space to run. But what you really need well, to do... There is an uphill part that you could go to and uh, we could just run straight up the hill, but it's steep. Yeah, well... Probably it's steeper than the first part, so I oh, look at that. kind of low going there. You can go up there. Look, that is it? Yeah.
that hill all the way over there. I don't know if you can see, but we are on a ridge line. And we're going to that hill, and that's about halfway for the hike. It's relatively easy. This is the hardest part. And then we get into an open valley. We actually end up on the other side of this valley here. Just to get, give you guys a quick look at how my boots are faring. Um, I think they're doing very well. They are the waterproof version, and I'm not having any grip trouble whatsoever. Very good boot. I'd highly recommend it. It's not got the support you would probably want in a hiking boot, but it can definitely do the job if you need it to. This looks like the movie Red Dawn. <laughs> That's what I should do. We should like get a carpool out coming in the night. Can you just stand the sunset? Wolverine! This does feel like Red Dawn. I should have trained him. Red Dawn was not as steep as this. Um, in the right area, I mean, in the beginning scenes where they, um, they're sightseeing, the Russians are. Yeah. That's when um, it was like this, but uh, after that it was more like um, down by Colorado Springs. I got this. What's that way go to? It says Zorro. That's another trail. I must loop. Oh, you know what? That one goes down to the... Um, sorry, I tripped on a rock. That one goes down to the um, Dinosaur Ridge Trail. Huh. That would be an interesting one to do. We should do a... Uh, yeah, we should do a backpacking video. That'd be fun. And see if we actually catch a fish. If we could get, like, overnight, maybe? Yeah. I could even do backpacking, as long as it's not heavy. Is this a stair yet, or...? Nope. I'll know. Yep, you'll know. <sighs> I've anticipated him for the stairs. And that... Can you hold up pacing and just keep talking, because that works better for me, then I, then I don't think about if I'm getting hurt. Like my cardio is doing right. Yeah, this is my friend. Hopefully he doesn't mind, but I was going to tell you guys, he's in the process of trying to lose weight. And this is one of our ways. He's trying to lose it, I'm trying to gain it. Definitely. I have to say, if I was to do it all over again, and I had the option to buy these boots, I would. I have had no issues, and I am wearing wool socks, by the way, though. With these at all. And on the plus side, too, they are waterproof. So if you've got some ankle gaiters, just pack your uh, pants right into those, and you'll be set to go. As you can tell, we don't have very much gear. We've got some camelbacks. No, I bought one some camelbacks and two so. You have any knives or anything with you? I wish. Yeah, we don't really have too much because this is a pretty public trail and there's no mountain lines or anything around, so you don't have to worry about getting lost. I have a simple Sabona knife. Got this three, four years ago, still haven't sharpened it. Shows you how much I've used it. Also, it's a blind sniping position. Steep. How's it going? Oh, it's wonderful. I know. <laughs> Beautiful up here. We're heading that way, somewhat. Yeah, bear mace is a lot stronger than uh, pepper spray. I wish we could bring like a 22, you go hiking, That's camp for the night, uh, and just click, plink, or whatever it's called.
Oh, this is getting a lot easier. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'd say we reached the halfway point just a little bit ago. And we've gotten through the difficult terrain. We're now down to the easy part, for the most part. But it is all downhill. Uh, let's see. And we were talking earlier. We really hope that the book was right and this is a loop Otherwise, and not a straight a shot. Day. Otherwise, yeah, it'll be a long day. A 12-mile long day. Looks like a loop. Frag, hold on. Oh, there's a grenade? What? I heard frag. <laughs> Where's the grenade? It's trying to be We kind of passed that point. Yeah, we are past that point, ain't we? My apologies, you okay? As you can see, the female bear. What? is right at home in her environment, foraging for cheeseburgers. Son of a bitch, that sounds good. Looking for a place to rest for the night, possibly a holiday inn. Wait, why is my female there? Okay, we're getting to have to call Mama say, Oh, we made an error, error in judgment, Mama. We'll be a little late. Yeah, very late. At least it's cooling off now. I know. Oh, we're getting into some rocks again. Yeah. Your favorite. I know. Rocks with a side of cliff. If you think this is bad, you should have seen the trail run we did. We were on. We were on the top of the mountain, and it was one way down either way. There was no, there's pretty much a trail and then you are off. That was the cliff. Yeah, at least you're in a car though. Yeah, but if you slide it off, bye bye. Watch, we'll make a two hour long hike and do a 50 minute video. Like a boss? How are we gonna get. Okay, we're almost to the halfway point. That was the quarter point I said earlier, accidentally called it the halfway point. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but right there, that is the halfway point where we cross the road. And we'll cross over there, and we follow the bottom of this mountain back. And I will say, we were caught with our pants down. We did not bring flashlights or headlights. They are in the car. Well, if we really don't want to, well, we could, uh... I thought you guys would find this pretty cool. We're actually coming back down on a walking path for, it's called Dinosaur Ridge. And here's a dinosaur bone. And there's things like this all along the rest of the trail. You can see the feet right there. It's pretty cool. Okay. We finally made it back. We survived. We didn't get eaten, and we didn't fall. In total, it is currently 7.50, so it took us two hours and 40 minutes for a six mile hike. That might sound terrible to some, but for us, for us it wasn't that bad. Because one, we haven't hiked in almost six months. I'm terribly overweight. He's overweight, and half of it was uphill, so that combination doesn't mix. I could have gone a lot faster if I really wanted to, but this was for fun. We weren't trying to beat any records. So, we want to thank you for watching. And hopefully, we will have another one of these types of videos soon. But for now, we will see you later. Are you serious? Was I not recording that? <laughs> this is for dramatic effect. Do you have sandpaper underwear on or what? Yes! It fucking hurts!
You already agreed to do it next week, too. I did? I have it on video.